working to defeat crime and make neighborhoods safer. I'm Peter Carl, and this is Chicago Crime Watch. They used innocent school children to camouflage their drug operation. But neighbors and police saw through the ruse and saw to it that these drug dealers got put out of business. And just to let people know outside of the Austin community that you, the residents of Austin, do care about Austin. And anybody that watches this press conference and see you guys in the crowd will know that, you know, we're serious about making sure that these open-air drug markets don't prevail in Austin. It's a capacity crowd at the 15th Police District. The community gathers to hear details of Operation Angel Trumpet. In this particular one, Angel's Trumpet, uh, this took us about two and a half months. We identified eight people. All eight of them were identified as participants in the conspiracy. Conspiracy charges are not probationable. They have to go to jail. On conviction, they have to go to jail. It's a minimum, minimum of six years, and they could get as much as 30 years. And that's what we're looking for here. Angel's Trumpet is the 19th open-air drug market shut down this year. The dealers operated near the 1000 block of North Latrobe, directly across from the John Hay School. It was a serious problem, so now it's over. It's quiet over here. We're here in the summertime, and you would think it would be flooded like it was before, but as the commander said during the press conference, the work was good. It was accomplished. The dealers were most active during school hours. Police say they used the comings and goings of school children to try and camouflage their activities. They use the uh, school as a, a hoax just to blend in. When school's not in section, that, that area is uh, relatively quiet. I think it's awful, awful, very sickening, yes. During the investigation, police made 15 undercover controlled buys of heroin. Police say 17-year-old Keith Robinson managed the drug operation. Others who worked under him ranged in ages from 15 to 49. But the investigation does not stop with their arrests. This is not over by any means. The vehicles that were used uh, to purchase dope or, or to deliver dope are in the process of being seized. As our properties, uh, we did uh, where the um, dope operation was centered on, on the 900 block of North Latrobe, 939 North Latrobe. We turned that over to the Department of Buildings, okay, and the Department of Law. And the city of Chicago will go after that building to seize that building, just so you know. People in the area of the now defunct drug operation are enjoying a quiet summer and looking ahead to the next school year. They'll be the ones hovering on the corner come fall. We have already formed parents become involved with patrolling. So we figured that we could cover so many areas of the school and assign maybe two or three parents on each corner to try and see if we can kind of help put a stop to this. As an indication of how successful this operation was, just a few days after warrants were issued, 15th District Police set up a reverse sting. During the hours the sting was in progress, not a single person came by the area to try and buy drugs. The word is out. This open-air drug market is closed. That's it from the Crime Watch News Desk. I'm Peter Carl. Thanks for watching. <music>